this article develops out of the desire to uh, create a more complicated picture of the relation between capitalism and the commons. Uh, in the literature, the commons are usually understood to be intrinsically anti-capitalist or anti-market, but historically speaking, that's not strictly true. Um, drawing on the experience of the transition to capitalism uh, in the European High Middle Ages, rather than the Polanyan great transformation of the uh, 18th and 19th century, which has been the usual point of reference for most theories about the commons. Historically, the commons uh, have been the source not only of anti-systemic life forms, uh, but also of new kinds of market-oriented relations of production, what Marx calls pity production or pity industry. Um, a market-oriented, non-capitalist economic systems where individual property is paired with uh, generalized access to common knowledge uh, and other types of common resources in the forms of social capital and socialized skills, etc. Um, and in the article I suggest that something similar is happening today as the new digital commons are appropriated by the many outcasts from a crumbling um, capitalism uh, to develop new relations of production which uh, have the potential to offer an alternative to and perhaps even supersede um, a capitalism in what seems to be terminal decline.